G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm sitting here with Amy and with Kimberly and we're going to just take a little bit of time and minister to people uh, that are wonderful in my life. So I made a list um, of actually three lists uh, of people and we're going to just sit here this afternoon and minister to each one of of you. Uh, I just want to tell you you're valuable, you're special and you're um, you mean a lot to me, so that's that's why I put you on the list. Okay, I want to minister to you now to Ifushuku. So Ifushuku, uh, what the Lord is showing to me is a cup that's comfortably full. And I felt that that's where you were. And so now you are at the place where you are completely full. So you're not comfortably full, you're right to the top. But the Lord says now the next season you're going into is the season of overflow. Where you're not just full, but you constantly overflow. And the Lord is opening up that river in you. He's taking that rocks out for overflow to happen in, in your life. God bless you, Ifushuku. Ifushuku, God loves you. And you know, the God is the potter and we are the clay. And I see how you are this vase and how the, how the Lord is really like, um, put, you know, when you put water on, on pottery and then it becomes more flexible and you can make it bigger. And I just feel that's what's going on right now. The Lord says... I am not done with you yet. I'm still adding more with my water. I'm still working on you. And I just feel there's a lot of expansion that God is doing right now on a bit of a stretch. But I just feel how the Lord says, but it is a stretch, but I'm pouring out my grace, my mercy, and my peace in it. And you're just going to experience that love while you grow even faster than ever. If it's you, God loves you so much. The Lord is really doing a great work in your life. God bless you. Hey, thank you. Uh, so the next word is for Layla. Uh, Layla, I, I saw how you were eagle, but you didn't have confidence to open up uh, your your wings. Uh, and so it's almost as if that eagle's wings was, was sh uh, stuck. Uh, uh, but the, now the Lord is giving you boldness and he's giving you um, uh, just the confidence to open up your wings and to soar with the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Layla, I also saw an eagle. So whatever Dan said, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Lord also showed me how he is giving you like these, these workman clothes, like these overalls. And he says, now you're going to start getting in the, the nitty gritty things. When you read your word, when you spend time in his presence, you are going in in deeper. And the Lord shows me how, how instead of like when they, when they dig, they get full of dirt, but you're just going to get these colors, colors and colors being placed onto you. And the Lord shows me how you will wear those colors even out around your friends, around your family. And he says, wear them proudly. Be blessed. All right. Awesome. Uh, God bless you, Layla. So April, uh, what the Lord was showing to me uh, is uh, a black and white book uh, with lots of pictures in there of things that happens to you. But then I saw how the Lord color everything and so the Lord is bringing color mm -hmm. and beauty in your life He's bringing joy He's bringing fun and where you are a very um, disciplined person uh, to work hard and to put in a lot of effort now the Lord is adding a lot of laughter a lot of fun also in your life God bless you Amen April I love your name April the picture God showed me for you I just feel like you're such a um, inquisitive person you have a lot of questions to ask God and you know what I feel all of us do but I feel like you have a long list of questions for God and I just feel God is saying to you come to me and I will answer your questions I, I have the answers and I'm going to reveal yeah. so much to you so I just feel the Lord says come and then I saw how you drank a, a, a glass of um it, um, a glass of, of, of wine and, and you were having communion uh, okay. and you know that represents so so I know when when the lady in the Jewish time when when a lady drinks a glass of wine they said I will marry you and I just feel the Lord says you are the bride of Christ I'm I, I want to make a covenant of you and I love you and I want I want to be your first love April God loves you so much um really accept Jesus as your first love you are amazing Hey, awesome. April, God bless you. Sherika. So uh, the first one that I got is uh, bubbling over uh, nabai. So nabai uh, means to bubble over. It's, a, uh, it's usually a prophetic person that just flow prophetically um, continuously uh, for a long time. And I felt that's what the Lord is opening in your life. Is it bubbling over? Uh, and then the next one, I saw uh, the new wine and the intoxication of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That the Lord is just completely filling you up and you almost shake. Uh, so full are you uh, of the Holy Spirit and how He's helping you to completely surrender to Him. God bless you, Sherika. 
Sharika, the Lord says, I want you to invite more worship into your life, more praising. And, and I really see this is a vocal type of worship because worship can be an offering. Worship is, is everything that we do unto the Lord because he is so, so wonderful. But I really see that this is a vocal, this is a movement worship that the Lord wants you to get into. I see how you are dancing and praising and even dancing with flags and, and just giving him glory. So go into that worship room. Be blessed. Hello, awesome. God bless you, Sherika. Oh, less than. Uh, so, less than, I've, I haven't ministered to you in this format before, uh, but I just uh, uh, thought, you know what, the Lord put me on, uh, you on my heart, and I wanted to minister to you. Uh, so, what the Lord showed me is how He brings a protection around your life, how He cuts off the past off of you, and then I saw you walking into the future, but you are holding uh, the, uh, um, the hand of your child or your children uh, and your family, uh, and what I felt that the Lord says, your future is not going to be uh, without your family. Family. Your future is actually going to be made with them mm -hmm. together. They're not going to go in different directions. They're going to be with you. God bless you, Lester. Amen, Lester. The picture God showed me for you was how you, um, God was really bringing you back old dreams and old desires that you had like a long time ago. And I just feel how the Lord is really bringing them back and He's giving you strategy how to accomplish them. And, and I just feel how the Lord says that I'm making all things new. And I, I just feel there's a lot of things in your life that God is just right now renewing and just the things in that were, you weren't really feel it weren't really feeling that it's working maybe this project or this situation and i just feel how the lord just transforms it um when you walk in his way and and, and i just feel god says obedience will lead to victory god loves you you're victorious okay awesome less than god bless you marinas i saw how you bake a cake and then you couldn't get all the layers and the icing on and then you bake a new cake and you again couldn't get all the layers and the icing and now the third time i see how you bake the cake you get all the layers all the icing you complete the cake completely so that's what i felt the first one second one uh, i saw you doing business with your brothers and i felt that you were separate uh, you were uh, it's uh, divided but now the lord is bringing unity and you're going to do stuff together because you guys love each other you trust each other and you all have all of this creativity uh, and life that's flowing out of you god bless you marinas Okay, Miss Marina, the Lord shows me how He is giving you persistence. That even in every situation that we get in, that we will choose the Lord. That we will decide, Lord, I will choose you. Um, like Paul and Silas, the, the Paul and Silas that were in the jail. Mm -hmm. they were in the, they were in jail, but even though they decided. No, I'm going to worship the Lord. I'm going to pray. I'm going to, something is going to happen. And, the, and, the, and those jail cells just completely shatter. So no matter where you are, decide, Lord, I choose you. I choose to follow you in this situation, in any situation. You are the way. Be blessed. Hey, awesome, Marinas. God bless you. Uh, Lucas, the Lord showed me a wallet uh, with cash in it. And I felt in your work and in your business that you're going to do, you know, most people get all their payments in uh, bank deposits into their bank account. But I felt that you are going to be involved in type of business, maybe trading, selling, whatever, uh, and you're going to get a lot of cash. Uh, and it's going to be cash in your wallet and the Lord is going to bring increase to you you don't have to fear God bless you Lucas Amen Lucas God loves you so much God has called you to be a giver and I just feel how the Lord is really um, calling you to be a giver not only with, with your time but also with your experiences you're going to mentor a lot of people and I saw a picture of there's a few people that you also uh, when I was praying for you I saw you were like giving soup and bread to some people mm -hmm. so I just feel how the Lord is really placing his hand over you to be a river and a giver and God is really going to bless you financially so that you can give more and be a builder of the kingdom of God. God loves you. God bless you. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. Lucas, God bless you. Okay, Marina. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people in their lives, uh, they continue until they hit uh, 60 or 65 and then they make a big change in their life because they retire or maybe uh, they can't work at that one place. They got to work at some place else. And it's always a big change a lot of times. Uh, in people's lives when they get at that age gap. Right? Uh, but what the Lord was saying to me is that he has a, your, your life looked like a big boat uh, and it was steering like one degree change every year. One degree, two degrees, small incremental changes. So it's almost as if the boat will never lose momentum. It will just keep flowing, but you're going to constantly make small changes. So I felt that the Lord says, 
um, don't think, okay, there's going to be like a stop and there's going to be a start of something different. I felt there's going to be small incremental change, small incremental hand over, small incremental bring you back in, things like that in your life. And so, but, the, but you have the wisdom of God upon your life and the Lord will continuously lead you in the rest of God. God bless you, Marina. And to Marina, the Lord wants to remind you that you are still growing, that you are still his child and he still wants to, to hold you close. The Lord says that I don't want you to neglect your private time with me. I want you to, to want, even if it's a, the few minutes that you have in your car on the way to work, the Lord says that have that time for me where you set your mind on higher things, on things of, of, of heaven. The Lord says how he's going to give you visions and blueprints in the time like I really see like on your way to work is a time for you and the Lord just just to come just to come and, co and combine and, and connect and 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 the Lord shows me how he will give you wisdom and you will just feel his presence and his love be blessed hey awesome but I know God bless you uh, so the next word is for Barent Barent the Lord showed me three income streams in your life uh, so the first one was now this uh, uh, um, small business that he told me about the other day that he's starting uh, and you're renting the, the, the piece of land there for it. Uh, and I saw how it has incremental growth every month. It will just keep on growing, 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 growing. But um, it, it's going to take... It's, 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 it's going to take a time like a tree. You know, when you plant a tree, um, although it might make small fruits in the beginning, it takes a few years for it to really give the big harvest that you need from it. All right? And I felt it is going to give you the harvest, but it's going to be a, a very small incremental growth the whole time. Okay, so that's the first thing that God showed me. Then I saw consulting income. So I don't know what you can consult people with, but I saw you had giftings, you had skills, and you could sit with someone, you can give them uh, consulting and you could charge them high amounts of money for your consulting services. Uh, and that could be a, a second income. Uh, and then the third income that I felt you can have is from the ministry work that God is having you doing. Mr. Barr, the picture God showed me for you was how the Lord has given you a generational anointing. And I just feel how the Lord says, I'm just blessing you and I'm also going to bless your kids. And also, I just saw when I close my eyes to pray for you, I, I saw that it wasn't just your kids. Yes, I, I see them very clearly, but I saw there were so many other young people that you're really, that you're really mentoring and fathering and loving and sowing seeds. And I just see how those seeds are soon going to grow into mighty trees. And I just feel it's all going to come come back and then I just saw a picture of, um, and then I just see a picture of your kids and I just felt they have hearts of David how they're going to be trained to first hear the voice of God and to worship then they're going to become have those kingly anointings be warriors and just wear crowns of royalty I just feel that's just giftings God has given them but first God is really speaking to them and just pulling them into his presence barring God loves you so much and I just God's hand is upon you and I just feel Holy Spirit is really giving you fresh revelation. God bless you. Hey, awesome. Barat, God bless you. Uh, Elisma, so the Lord showed me mantle of wisdom that is placing on you. And then I saw a plug that was open and all of your resources were just going down the drain because you got an open plug. And so the Lord says, he's giving you wisdom how to close that plug so that the bath or whatever can fill up instead of all the water just running out and so i just felt that the lord says uh, even with your finances with your energy with your time uh, with your effort uh, what was lost the lord will uh, stop that and he will help you to be full and to overflow god bless you Elisma. Okay, Auntie Lisma, I hear the Lord saying that this is a woman that demands respect. The Lord shows me how, how when you speak or when you go and minister to people, that the, that, the, that the spirit, the water inside of you just starts to flow straight into them. And even as, as when, when Jesus was, was, was um, you know, casting out, out demons, how they knew who he was. And the Lord shows me how, how you are a threat to the, to the bad side. And the Lord shows me how you are really yes. going to make an impact in, in releasing people and inviting the, the presence of the Lord back into or into their lives. Be blessed. All right. Awesome. Let's God bless you. Miss Elia, this is what the Lord is showing to me. 
uh, number one, He is healing your physical body. And I just saw how the Lord is pouring anointing oil over you and how your body are being healed and being made whole. Uh, and then I felt the Lord is filling you up with new strength for a new season. And just like you take your car uh, to the garage and it's being filled up with petrol so you can have uh, uh, gas in the tank to go. I felt that the Lord says in the same way He's strengthening you today and He's filling you up again. He loves you very, very much and the Lord is so proud of you and who, of who you have become and how you have even raised up your children. God bless you, Miss Elia. And to Elia, the picture God showed me for you was um, a bunch of pens and I saw how you were writing and writing and spending time with God, listening to what He's saying and I just saw you writing and I just saw all the pens were empty and I just saw the Lord has filled them up with new ink and just like He's filling them up with new ink he's giving you brand new just time with him revelation with him and i just feel there's just there's just those moments with him and i feel it's so brand new and beautiful and then i saw how you were dancing before the lord with these beautiful flags and i just feel how the lord says that i'm calling you to create an atmosphere of peace and of order and i just feel how the lord has really given you a calling of freedom and i, I just feel the lord says that you are going to bring a lot of freedom to a lot of people but it, it is such a unique Powerful way. God loves you, Auntie Ilya. God bless you. Hey, okay, thank you, uh, Miss Ilya. Family, it was wonderful for us to minister to you. Uh, uh, I want to encourage you uh, write us a little comment, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you next time. God bless.